Hey guys, it's your boy Java Monkey J. Today, my friend and I are talking World of Warcraft Season of Discovery. This section was taken from our World of Warcraft tier discussion, where we ranked each expansion in a tier list format and discussed our thoughts and opinions on the game. If you'd like to see that full video, it is linked below. However, I will be posting shortened videos, one for each expansion in the coming days. So subscribe so you don't miss it. I've been Java Monkey J. Peace. Season of Discovery. Before before we get into this, I just want to know. I want to know where you're going. Where are you going with this? What do you think? So. I think, and this is this okay. So personal, personally, I think I'm gonna get a solid like month out of season of discovery. Uh huh. And when we're leveling for phase two, I'm gonna get bored. We'll see. But to me, I don't play vanilla because I think vanilla is tedious. I think that walking everywhere in vanilla sucks. I think that there being so many mobs everywhere and how big the aggro radiuses are and how tedious it is to fight them because rotations suck and all these other things. I think the, the open world being as hostile as it is and questing being as frustrating as it is are all gonna be issues that I have. Um, uh -huh. And I think that that friction I can ignore because runes are fucking cool uh, for about a month. And you then I'm gonna get you... to leveling to 40 and I'm gonna break. You clearly favor class design, so I'm I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that that's uh, that that's the take. Where do, where would I, you? I think they're doing a lot to improve it in they are. season of discovery. They are. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I, I do think that this is ultimately <clears throat> not going. I'm not going to make it to sixty. Saying that, I'm though, I mean class. there there are some issues with runes too, which is what we talked about. Like there's some instances where potentially there needs to be maybe an extra rune slot that would really help a class out. Maybe so there needs to be some later. some talent ch adjustments that would really help a class out, and yeah, we will get that later. But as you so some people some some people some people will play the game and say, "Man, I'm like maybe, maybe Af for example. Maybe Af is really missing unstable affliction, and it might turn a warlock player off in, before they even get the chance to do the second season because maybe yeah. a class is missing just that one little thing just to make it right." And I think yeah. there are a couple classes that might end up being like that, and it might turn some people off. And as we've seen from Diablo, to talk about another game, sometimes you just lose players, and Your they just they don't they don't come back. First impression is super super important. Absolutely. Um, I do think that overall um, there are enough classes that have that I think will really hit the mark. Yeah. Uh, that still feel classic, um, but will feel classic in a much more complete way. Right, I yeah. think Hunter is a really yeah. good example of this. Um, not biased at all, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I uh, think that adding the possibility of trap weaving and melee weaving, and you know, hitting aim shot in between your really slow auto shots, yeah. um, all of that is going to create a much more complicated rotation than existed in original classic, and probably yeah. one that I think is going to be a lot more competitive. And I think yeah. both of those are really cool, and it makes it so that bringing your token hunter for trank shot may not be the only reason you bring a hunter right yeah which i think is is cool and and you know bringing that token hunter for trank shot yeah it's fine but when you have 40 people in the raid it was really bad to bring one or two yeah right i would like to see more diversity than that and you know 40 there's eight classes you'd expect to see five of them you'd expect to see five hunters and i would really like to get to the point where we can see five hunters that's my goal if we can see five, five of every class in a raid, I I think that Season of Discovery will be the the success that I want it to be. Um, I'm not expecting that. I'm expecting 30 warriors still, but you know, we'll find out. Where do you think it's gonna land? Season uh, one, not not thinking about plus yeah, after just, 25. So just up to level 25, I think it's A plus. I really do. This is um, boring ass tier list. <laughs> you know, I if you had an A there, and you could move hardcore down to me. Um, you could move Wrath down too, honestly, and then and then we'd <laughs> throw A plus, and it would just be Season of Discovery and and Dragonflight. Yeah, no, I put it right behind Dragonflight. I think it's super exciting. Um, I think the, that a lot of what's exciting about it is the the possibilities, the new the new things that could happen. Because like I do like I think phase one is going to be solved in two days. I think that there are there is a meta. This is clear. It's pretty obvious what it's, it's going to be. Clear. Yeah. Um. I 
think that it's fine that there's a meta and that it's pretty clear what it's going to be because we do still have the whole discovery aspect of it where they may have changed yeah. more things than I have seen. Absolutely. Um, Never know. But I think fundamentally what they're doing and 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 the the possibilities for more meta shakeups as we go to different phases is really exciting because it means that I don't just want to level my hunter to 25 and be done. Because what if Druid gets the changes that I want it to be and becomes the shining uh, owl-shaped fuzzy teddy bear that I want? <laughs> um, yeah. At level 40. And then I want to play Druid. Right? Absolutely. That's, that's exciting. So, like, I will level a Druid, even though I think Druid is going to be turbo-ass uh, at level 25. But uh, I will level a Druid because I want the possibility of there to be a level 40 world where I get to play Druid and pop the meters. Is that not that's a cool idea? No, I mean that's. I think that's that's everyone. I mean, I think I think from the comments of uh, the last video that we made, I think that's clearly the perspective that everyone has. Everyone's like, my class is gonna be is gonna be it. Like, if I finally have this change, that change, it's gonna make it to where I'm. My random class is gonna be the one that it's gonna be fantastic. And I think that's exactly what they what they need. I think I think it's the COD strat, right? Modern Warfare 2 strat. Make everything. Make every weapon. Make every class busted. Make make it all fun. Make it all crazy. Um, don't do what Diablo did. Don't don't. <laughs> don't nerf make, everything don't that nerf looks everything. remotely interesting. Yes, make everything ridiculous, and that's and that's fine. Who cares? It's season of discovery. I don't think anyone's taking anyone taking this part version of the game seriously. I think it's just disappointing themselves off rip. I mean, like it's clearly just a, a fun way to it, see what happens see what happens yeah i think i think this is a lot of blizzard throwing a lot of stuff at the wall and they're gonna see what works and what doesn't yep um we'll we'll see i i am very hopeful um that this is what finally gets me to play classic vanilla and see all of the classic vanilla raids that i didn't see because mm -hmm. i had no interest um because like if we've got real rotations and real interesting stuff going on, you know, maybe maybe I'll go pop some 99s in AQ40. You know? <laughs> yeah, who does? Maybe, maybe that happens. Um, I will be playing the absolute shit out of Season of Discovery 100%. Um, I, I'm excited to see where it falls, but I think... I think it's actually going to be way worse than what we think. I think it's actually probably going to be either B plus or B, B minus territory. And I'm leaning towards B minus. Really? Why really? do you have so <laughs> low hopes? Who hurt you? <laughs> Dude. Okay. So let me explain. Wrath. Wrath hurt me. After, after seeing how Wrath unfolded, like Wrath really is this right, right. Well, as of as of before before hardcore and before kata wrath really was this like a like middle like this middle child for wow that really just like it wasn't incredibly interesting i mean i know a lot of people a lot of my friends played it obviously we all play wrath but i mean like a lot of people weren't playing wrath and i guess actually not before hardcore more people were playing hardcore more people were playing retail like it wrath just really seemed like the middle ground and the middle ground wasn't really that great like it was okay in some ways, but like we've already talked about, like class design's not there, but raid difficulty's not there. And, but also you don't, ex you don't really start, you don't really explore the world anymore and run across some random people to do a dungeon with either. Like, it's just sort of like this weird middle ground that's pretty much based off nostalgia for a while. And yep. I think, I think, I really do think Season of Discovery is going to be too much classic for retail players, too much retail for classic players. I think that's where it's going to land, and I think it will likely flop. However, I am open to it. anything that can be that good can also be that great. This could be. This could also be the truth. This could 100% be the truth, but it also could be dog. So, yeah. So I think I think that too retail for classic players is probably the point that I would argue with the most. I do think it's too classic for retail players. That's why I don't think I'm gonna. I'm going to love it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun theory crafting a lot for it. Um, but like I'm already theory crafted out with all the stuff that we have. I'm very confident that it, I understand the meta and where it's going to land. Um, it, I think that level 25 is is pretty solved um, at this point. Um, yeah. And I'm saying that with what we know is out 
granted, there can be more changes. There can be secrets. They haven't given us everything. They haven't given us a PTR. But they have given us what we assume is almost all or all of the runes. They have given us uh, a lot of the crafting stuff that they're adding that I'm expecting to not see anything that is stronger than what we've seen. Um, the, we've seen, you know, some samples from what the raid loot looks like, and none of it is wildly powerful. So I'm not expecting any of those things to affect too much of the meta. I'm expecting most of the meta to be based on the runes, which is what they sold yep. us. And I'm expecting that we've seen most of the runes. They, we've seen 96 of them. They said there were a little over 100. I'm expecting there to be a few more. And I do not think that a few more would change the meta that I think is going to shape out. Uh, yeah, all that said, um, I think that... Uh, I think you're right. Retail players aren't going to like it. Um, but mm -hmm. classic players, right... So I think that there are parts of it that classic players won't like. Healing mages, I think, is not going to play very well. Mm. Um, Potentially. I I think it's going to be really weird. I don't think it's going to be very effective. Um, and it doesn't fit classic at all. Um, but, like, I think for the most part, the rest of it has a very classic feel to it. Um, we'll see on some of it but like there's a lot of aspects of it that they've done very big changes in how some of these spells work to make them feel more classic mm -hmm. um some of it i think has been done kind of poorly but i i'm i think that it will feel a lot closer to classic plus then not it will it will definitely be a classic game yeah uh, yeah i agree I, I think it'll feel like a classic plus but i think you'll have some hardcore classic stooges that are the kind of people that say wrath is too modern and yeah they, those people will complain but those people won't be satisfied by anything but a no changes server and they have that we already have that <laughs> it exists actually it's not no changes it's got a debuff cap removed like Mostly no playable. changes. Mostly no changes. Mostly no changes. Um, and lots of gold for sale. It's got that too. <laughs> lots of Mostly gold no for changes. sale. Um, final final bet. Where do you think this lands? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say B plus. I'm gonna say you're gonna say false. B plus. I definitely think it's higher than that. A minus at that minimum. But a really, minimum. it's A plus in my mind. I think it's gonna be better than vanilla. Where do you think it lands up here? Better than Wrath? Worse than Wrath? You know, that's a tough one. I think it's probably so. So, you brought up you brought up at the beginning of all this. You talked about the legacy, right? The, mm -hmm. the, the, what his what these games have inspired, right? And mm -hmm. and I made the point that I don't think that's fair to talk about, <laughs> um, because obviously Dragonflight I think is going to inspire the next you know ten years of World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a huge turning point in the way this game has been designed in the last five years. Um, but like we can't see that yet. I think the same thing about Classic Season of Discovery. I think this is a turning point for the way that Classic is going to be developed moving forward. I think that we're going to see a lot more experimentation um, with future seasons. Um, I think Season of Mastery kind of made them realize that wow, um, some changes can be really interesting. Yeah. Um, and Season of Discovery is really them pushing the envelope here. I don't know that we'll ever necessarily see a season with this wild of a meta shakeup, um, but maybe we will. Um, what I'd really like to see, um, if we're talking about a true like long-term Classic Plus server, is a Season of Discovery with the runes and all of their hidden locations and all of the different like warping of the meta. Mm -hmm. Maybe we remove some healing mages. Maybe we remove some tanking rogues, right? Yeah. But we get a a broader impact of like the the way that the runes change the meta in that you know hunters are maybe competitive and so are are you know rogues and warlocks and mages. Um, not, it's not just the warrior show with world mm -hmm. buffs. Um, maybe we see world buffs change to affect casters as well, so that we really do have some some competition. And then I would like to see a talent rework, maybe not quite completely as TBC reworked them, 
but I would like to see things like the druid talent trees. Balance and restoration are horrible. They're terrible. Some of the worst design I've ever seen. Uh, they need to be fixed. Like, I don't think that e even if you had a, a glyph or a rune that gave Starfall to balance through it at level 25, I don't think they'd be viable because I think their talent tree is so ass. That's, that's my take. I would like to see that. And with runes and talent trees fixed, I think that we'd have a really cool game. Yeah, I agree. I would hope to see also some, uh, some new content some uh, maybe a new raid tier maybe a little expansion to the existing story um as, as be well pretty cool as well in that final that final send off and maybe a little boost in the maybe a tiny little boost in the level nothing uh nothing crazy i, I, I don't like 65 I, yeah like 65 yeah maybe maybe even like 62 like fuck it like let's just do two more levels in another zone for each each uh e each continent call it a day Maybe see, like a five, with, five, 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 five item level increase, something small. See, I think the problem with any level cap increase is you invalidate all of the content before it. You invalidate all the gear. Yeah, that's that's why you do a five item level uh, increase as well from to the next rate tier. I mean, it, it really keeps everything kind of uh, compressed. Yeah, but then, but the, so, but the thing, the thing is, is that you now lose molten core, uh, blackwing layer, AQ, and Nax as things that are constantly having gdkps they're constantly having raids run um you're constantly seeing you know runs done for those you never see them again they all just stop yeah as soon as you increase the level cap those are irrelevant and you've lost more content than you've gained that's a good point yes i don't know if how that i don't know how they raids move. on top or in addition to those raids at 60 if you add zones at 60 and give enough reason to go visit them and go do the quests there right maybe mm -hmm. there's runes there maybe there's um you know an extra talent point that you can get yeah right yeah. it doesn't have to be a level but one extra talent point yeah for completing the zone yeah that's great that's a good idea or you know maybe there's you know crafting materials that allow you to craft this new set of of gear that is equivalent to you know maybe aq40 gear maybe it's not max gear but it's aq40 right or a new tier set based on open world completion. You, you know, there's lots of new content you can do that doesn't invalidate those raids, right? It doesn't Absolutely. invalidate that content. I think that's gonna be really important for Classic going forward is making sure that that content stays relevant. I think the only way to do that is to keep the level cap 60 and add things that are horizontal to the content, not vertical. Yeah, I agree. And I'm excited for, for Classic Plus, so. I'm we'll, excited we'll, for Classic Plus. We'll I didn't happens. think I would ever say that, but they <laughs> they they won me over. I still think Season of Discovery is going to be fucking dog shit. We'll find out here in <laughs> what 15 days. 15 days. Yep, it's coming.